Kaylee, and these are the books I read in December. I read 17 books in December, although several of those were short stories, so it wasn't really anything big. I finally, finally read Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I fell in love with this book right from the beginning. I mean, the tale of Cinderella, where Cinderella is a cyborg, can it really get any better than that? Cinder is such a marvelous character. She's full of insecurities, but she's also confident and sassy. She's beautiful in her own grease monkey kind of way. And I can't wait to read the next book. I gave this one four out of five stars. I am now officially a fan. I read No Longer a Slum Dog by K.P. Yohannan. Yes. This is a book that's put out by Gospel for Asia. It talks about children who live in the slums in India, much like the Slum Dog Millionaire movie. And it details a lot of the personal stories of these children and how the Gospel for Asia Bridge of Hope Children's Ministries have helped them and changed their lives. After reading this book, I immediately went to the Gospel for Asia's website and I signed up to sponsor a child in one of their Bridge of Hope ministries. The child gets an education, they get one meal per day while they're at school. They get a school uniform and they get like a backpack and school supplies. This is a really great charity ministry and I really encourage you guys, go to their website. I will link it down below. It's Gospel for Asia. You can sponsor a child, you can sponsor a, a missionary. They're reaching out to kids who are living in absolute poverty who have never been to school before. They're getting them off the streets and out of the trash dumps and giving them a safe place where they can learn and grow. I read The Violet Awakening by Stina Lane. I loved the first book in this series, The Energy Room, and The Violet Awakening was just fantastic. I love the wit, the snarky jokes, the fast-paced action, but I think the coolest thing is just seeing how this sort of alien culture is set up, all of the imaginative world building. It's very detailed and complex. It's really well thought through. I love this series. I read several books for Christmas, and one of them was The Bird's Christmas Carol by Kate Douglas Wiggin. I've reread this book four or five times now. It's just a short little book, but it's very sweet. It's about a little girl who is very ill and she sees the neighborhood kids who are playing and they're poor and so she invites them over for Christmas dinner. I've always loved this story. It puts me right in the Christmas spirit. I read The Christmas Box by Richard Paul Evans. I was not very impressed with this story. It was sort of trite and predictable and just entirely too simple. There wasn't very much development with it and I just didn't care about the characters. Kind of disappointed in this one. I reread Christmas with Anne and Other Holiday Stories by L. M. Montgomery. These stories are very simple and sweet, but they have this wholesome charm all their own. I read Aunt Dimity's Christmas by Nancy Atherton. The Aunt Dimity books are just silly little fluff reads. I don't know why I love them so much, because they're not great literature. They're not amazing writing or anything. They're just, I don't know. I love them. I care about every single character. I just, I just adore these silly little plots. I, I can't even describe it. Somehow they just draw me in and I was glad that I finally got to read this one at Christmas time. I read several Christmas short stories by Charles Dickens, including A Christmas Carol, The Chimes, The Goblins Who Stole a Sexton, The Cricket on the Hearth, and The Haunted Man. I liked all of these pretty well. You know, Dickens has that own style of his where he has a lot of details, a lot of characters. All of these are stories that have some sort of supernatural elements to them because, of course, it was a Victorian tradition to tell ghost stories at Christmas. So all of these have either ghosts or goblins or some sort of uh, spirit of some kind. Some of them were quite chilling. <sighs> I was so glad to be able to read a lot more Dickens this year. I read The Sisters Grimm Fairy Tale Detectives by Michael Buckley. Two sisters who have lost their parents go to live with their crazy grandmother and they find out the fairy tales are true. I liked this book. It was really funny. There's just mad cat plot and crazy characters. You never know who's going to pop up next. 
I'm probably going to try to find the rest of the series because this one is a fun one. Continuing my rereading of the Anna Green Gables series by Ellen Montgomery, I read Anne of Windy Poplars and Anne of the Island. It's been a while since I've reread these and I love this series, so I'm going to keep on reading them. I finished the new Policeman series by Kate Thompson with the last book, The White Horse Trick. Every single book in this trilogy has just completely blown me away. I love the Irish setting and the old myths and legends. I gave this book four to five stars. I just, it's everything that a book should be. Everything that you would want in a book, these books have it. I just, I just love it so much. I can't even describe. It just blew my brains out. I love it. I finished reading the Heroes of Olympus series with the last book, Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan. Oh man. I just, all the Percy Jackson fangirl in me just came out. I actually started reading it, read right about halfway through, and then I got scared. <laughs> I got scared of the ending, and I couldn't finish it. I just set it aside for like a week, and I, I was too scared to read the rest. And then finally I got my courage together, and I finished the rest of the book. I loved it. I know some people have complained about the ending. Not me. I love the ending. I thought it was fantastic. I have no complaints whatsoever. I was so pleased with this last book. Reading this, I was crying and I was laughing and I was like screaming at the characters. So much love. All the love in the world. All love. I read The Lace Maker and the Princess by Kimberly Brubaker Bradley. This is about a young girl who comes from a family of lace makers in the town of Versailles and she's called to the palace of Marie Antoinette to deliver some lace and she makes friends with Marie Antoinette's daughter and basically becomes a companion to the princess while the French Revolution is going on. I was captivated by all the details of life in the palace at Versailles. The story of the individual characters is interesting, it's full of pathos, I liked it pretty well. I gave this only 3 out of 5 stars, not my favorite, but a well told story. I read The Wish List by Owen Colfer. This is the story of a girl who dies and then in order to save her soul she has to come back sort of as a ghost and help an old man fulfill his bucket list. This one has all the comedy and the ridiculous situations that I come to expect from this author. I thought the characters were funny and a little gritty. And of course the writing is snappy and the dialogue is full of wit. This is not my favorite book of his, but I liked it pretty well. I gave it 3 out of 5 stars. I read Beastly by Alex Flynn. This is a retelling of the Beauty and the Beast set in the modern world and it's told from the Beast's point of view. I love fairy tale retellings if they're done right and this one was very well written. At times it's sort of goofy and silly and it is sort of cheesy. But I don't care. I loved it. I loved the cheesy parts. The whole story is just delightful. It just draws you in. Those are the books I read in December. If you've read any of these, please leave a comment. I want to know your thoughts about it. Thanks for watching and remember the right book in the right hands at the right time can change the world.